Why on earth is airplane food so unhealthy? So unhealthy. Every time I check the ingredients of the foods that are served on the plane, I have a mini heart attack. <laughs> I'm not joking. The level of unhealthiness is unreal. They're always like this. High in sugars, high in carbohydrates very low in protein, high in unhealthy fats, full of modified ingredients, additives and artificial ingredients or ingredients that you cannot even spell. How are these even called foods? So last time I was on a plane, I went ahead and recorded the foods that I was given so you guys can be aware as a consumer. So let's take a look at these foods so you can learn and next time you're on a plane, you'll know how to spot these unhealthy foods. Because these are lab foods, I'm not even joking. They're not real foods anymore. And I will also give you tips and ideas of things you can bring with you next time you travel, so you avoid these super nasty foods. You don't have to eat these nasty foods. No. Again, foods. If they can even be called foods. I don't want you to avoid the plain food and then be super hungry. Especially if it's a very long flight, because if it's a two hour flight, it's no problem. But when it's a eight hour flight, like last time when I flew from the United States all the way to Spain, which is eight hours, you get a little hungry, don't you? FYI, if you're new here, I am from Spain. So, Viva España! So yes, you can bring your own food. It doesn't have to be chef level. It'll be something that is convenient, easy to prepare or bring with you, and not smelly, because that can be a little awkward. Especially when you have two people next to you and you're in the middle and you're eating something very smelly. Yeah, I know that can be a little awkward. So let's take a look at these nasty ingredients. Okay, let's dissect this. I was asked if I wanted chicken or pasta. I said chicken. So I might as well get some protein, right? <laughs> Funny. Well, when you open it, you barely get any chicken. No wonder why I got hungrier than before I started eating. What a great way to increase appetite for no reason. Usually, you can see the ingredients bad for whatever reason. This time, it didn't have the label. But I can tell you <laughs> that this meal is full of preservatives to keep that meal intact for months and also artificial ingredients to make it tasty. We can see tomato sauce, which was sweeter than ketchup. I can already imagine how much sugar this sauce has. This is tomato, tomato, tomato juice from concentrate. And then they add even more sugar. And if you look closely, you can spot some veggies that are the size of my patients. You gotta make it look somehow healthy because balance, right? Those vegetables must have so many preservatives and might have gone through so many industrial processes that if you think you're getting some vitamins from those, you are delusional. And then there's rice, because rice is cheap and makes people full. It doesn't give any nutritional value, but again, it's cheap. And that's the main meal, folks. Wow. Gosh, I was so full. Yeah. So much chicken. They gave me a small cheddar cheese wedge. <laughs> well, cheddar, if you could call that cheddar. Okay, let's look at the ingredients reduced fat cheddar cheese 
It seems like that's the only concern nowadays. The fat amount. And then people wonder why everyone is so unhealthy. It's all about reducing fat instead of actually feeding people and giving them real food. Not a food full of preservatives and names they cannot even spell. Anyways, let's keep going. Water. Sodium. Phosphate. So, there we go. First chemical. Natural cheddar cheese flavor. Because this cheddar is of such low quality, it doesn't have enough flavor. So you have to put a fake flavor. So it can mimic the real thing. I know, sketchy. <coughs> Milk protein concentrate. Super processed. Salt. Carrageenan. Another one. Sorbic acid. Another preservative. Bean gum, lactic acid, added color, and potassium chloride. Chemical. Then you're given gourmet, gourmet crackers, wow. which have wheat flour, palm oil, which is a very inflammatory oil, palm kernel oil, which is even cheaper, malt, salt, corn flour, and raisin agents. Soy lecithin, most probably GMO, and then synthetic vitamins. Crackers are so low in nutrition that they need to add vitamins, well, synthetic vitamins, so then they can claim that their product is very nutritional. I know, very cynical. And then for dessert, you are given a chocolate bar, <laughs> which I can already infer is full of sugar. Yep, first ingredient is sugar. Remember, the first ingredient is going to be the one in higher quantity. Wheat flour, soybean oil, mostly GMO. Most of the soybean that is not organic is GMO, meaning genetically modified. Eggs, bleach. <gasps> oh no! Super toxic chemical. Enriched wheat flour. Again, bleach wheat flour with synthetic vitamins like iron, niacin, thiamine, mononitrate. Remember, stay away from nitrates. Riboflavin and folic acid. Then cocoa, which is alkalized, meaning they put a chemical to make it alkaline, decreasing the acid content from natural cocoa, which is antioxidant. Then water, light brown sugar. Again, sugar. Corn syrup more sugar that's even worse than sugar itself medium invert syrup super processed rolled oats butter well at least is not margarine semi sweet chocolate chips which have more sugar salt natural vanilla flavor baking powder which has sodium aluminum sulfate wow cornstarch, natural butter flavor, baking soda, and cinnamon. And now let's look at the macros. 16 grams of sugar and 25 grams of carbohydrate for that tiny thing and 8 grams of fat. And we know that fat doesn't come from healthy fats. So you're adding very inflammatory fats with a lot of sugar and a lot of carbohydrate. It's a horrible mix, and it's full of artificial ingredients, preservatives, and modified ingredients. What a concoction. And then they give you a salad, because again, balance. Isn't that the saddest salad you've ever seen? Which is iceberg lettuce, not green enough, probably super processed. That salad, which is basically iceberg lettuce, dead iceberg lettuce, ultra processed, ultra frozen lettuce, serves zero purpose. Pow! Oh! And you have this beautiful balsamic vinaigrette. <laughs> Let's look at the ingredients. Water, vegetable oil, which is soybean oil, and then extra virgin olive oil. That is 95 cheap soybean oil and 5% olive oil. Balsamic vinegar, which is high in sugar, it's not the same as vinegar. Then distilled vinegar, sugar, then salt, 
and contains 2% or less of spices. And that's adding 15 grams of fat to your meal. Yeah, for no reason at all because this is not even worth it because it comes from soybean oil, not extra virgin olive oil, which is high in antioxidants. One thing that I did like was that they gave butter instead of margarine because butter is actually very healthy. There's a big difference between margarine and butter. Margarine is made out of cheap inflammatory oils, whereas butter comes from the milk of cows and it's high in vitamin K2, calcium, and vitamin D. And FYI, be very careful because most margarines have trans fats, meaning hydrogenated oils. Quick tip, instead of having soda, beer, wine, or orange juice, which is full of sugar, there is a better alternative, which is sparkling water with natural flavors. Yes, we don't know where those natural flavors are coming from, but if we compare a soda to this one, this is way better and it has zero sugars. And if you're a little picky with natural flavors, just ask for sparkling water, no flavor at all. It's not that people like soda, it's the fizz, what they like. And that's what sparkling water is all about. After seven or eight hours, it's breakfast time. This meal, oh my gosh. Your circadian rhythm is totally wrecked by now. It doesn't know if it should be sleeping, having dinner, lunch, breakfast, and this is going to affect your hormones and blood sugars as well. So to add more firewood to the burning, almost about to explode fire, let's have a crazy high sugar and carbohydrate meal. Honestly, it's better not to eat this breakfast. This meal doesn't serve a purpose. Remember, we eat to get nutritional value from a meal. This breakfast is only destroying your blood sugar levels and insulin, confusing your circadian rhythm even further. As you shouldn't be eating by now, your body is expecting you to be sleeping and fasting now. So I'd say to skip it. Let's look at the ingredients. Strawberry yogurt, where it claims that it has no fake fruit, no artificial flavors, and no artificial sweeteners. No GMO, no preservatives, no gluten, and no RBST. So when the average consumer sees this product, they're gonna be like, ooh, this is healthy. Yeah, let's look at the back of the label. That's where we can see the actual truth. Low fat yogurt. The obsession with fat is pff, serious. When you remove natural fat from a product, you are removing the fat soluble vitamins that come in that food, which are A, D, E, and K. Also remember, fat helps you feel satisfied and satiated between and after meals. But that's how you trick people into thinking they're eating a healthy meal just because it's low in fat. And the problem is that when you take the fat out of a product, it doesn't taste good anymore. It tastes horrible. So then you have to add sugar and artificial flavors to make it tasty. I know, it's ridiculous. Cane sugar, water, strawberry puree. Okay, fruit pectin, which that's not a concern. There you see, natural flavors. Locust bean gum, lemon use concentrate, gorgam, not a concern, fruit and vegetable use concentrate for color, and at least it has six types of active cultures. Then they can claim their product is full of probiotics. Yeah, it's also full of sugar. 
this small yogurt has 11 grams of sugar and nine grams are added sugars. Okay, so from those 11 grams of sugar, nine are added. The rest are naturally occurring from lactose from milk. The rest added sugars. So basically you're not getting the fat soluble vitamins that come from the milk because the fat was removed and then it's full of sugar. Pointless. But it gets worse. This bar is basically candy. Why would someone have candy for breakfast? 12 grams of sugar for no reason at all. <laughs> and 2 grams of protein. Yep. And then the last thing, which is kind of decent, is this. So at least it doesn't have artificial ingredients. The ingredients are dates, walnuts, organic coconut, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, roasted cashews, sea salt, pecans, and vanilla bean. Finally, some healthy fats. Although, keep in mind, dates are very high in sugar. So if we take into account the sugar from the yogurt and the bar, that's a lot of sugar for breakfast. And now let's talk about food swap ideas or snacks you can bring on your next flight. So there are many options of things you can bring on a plane, such as healthy protein snack bars, always clean ingredients with no sugars, high in fat and protein for satiety, jerky or beef sticks, nuts, seeds and nut butters, like a peanut butter sandwich, no sugars, cheese, fresh or cheese crisps, veggies with dips, cheese or spreads, homemade meals in a meal prep container, for example, chicken or meat with veggies or even salmon, smoked salmon. That one doesn't smell as much. Hard boiled eggs, those are super convenient and don't smell at all ham and cheese roll-ups, pork rinds. You can make your own brownie, your healthy brownie, high in fat and protein with eggs and healthy flours like nut flours or coconut flour. Or if you don't have the time, you can always buy something fresh and healthy at the airport. So remember something that is high in protein and fat. Remember always healthy fats and proteins. And also try to add veggies to those meals. And yes, you can even bring dark chocolate. So remember always 80% or more. The options are endless. Just be a little creative and think about things that you like, that you enjoy, and that will be convenient for you to make and bring. Don't obsess either. It's just gonna be one flight. You can always eat once you get there. So again, don't go crazy either. So yeah, that's all. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you on my next video. Goodbye.